Helvi Eleka. You are head of the Center of Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency in Namibia. It's a center at the Namibian University of Science and Technology. I think you're a real lobbyist for renewable energy usage in your country, and you are also a hand-on technician. So if it comes to installation, you like to really do the job on the site as well. So I think your Namibian country is the front runner in terms of solar technology use in your region. Why is that? Um, because the country has really good potential of solar resource, which can power maybe even the whole world. Um, we import almost 60% of our electricity and we have to bring energy security to our own uh, country to really depended on our own resources. Um, so there is a huge potential of, uh, um, of low temperature heat. Uh, and this is not only for uh, domestic hot water preparation, but also for um, um, process heat for breweries and uh, um, uh, dairy, for example, for milk processing, and also mining processing, and 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 and, and more. You had uh, published, I think, with your institute, um, a roadmap, a technology roadmap. Which objectives did you set in this roadmap? Um, the main objective uh, is really to reach uh, a 0 0.5 square per inhabitant um, by 2030. It's, it's a target uh, to install about a thousand, uh, uh, about uh, 1.5 million uh, square meter of collector area um, in Namibia by 2030. And this we can do with uh, either uh, for hot water preparation for domestic uh, purposes, uh, hot water preparation for. Um, hostels and schools, public institutions, um, hot water preparation for industrial purposes. So this is also something uh, where we need to focus more because uh, heat in the industrial purposes is really um, uh, too much and we have to concentrate that. And also we have to provide uh, solar cooking for which, uh, which can really cle cook clean and the hot water preparation also maybe for this one can do with PV or solar water heating uh, for desalination of, of water. So you have the feedback of the government already, whether they agree with these targets? Yes, this was actually developed by the people themselves uh, who feel uh, the potential. Uh, especially um, when we have the results of the ha of the mass housing program of the low cost housing where we did the analysis to see um, if this technology is really potential and the results indicated that uh, a house can save up to 40% uh, um, if you of electricity uh, if you install um, a solar water heater so the government sees the necessity as, a, as an electricity-saving measure. They use solar water heaters in residential. Yes, yes, they saw a necessity and they also provided, for example, a little subsidy, which is a solar home system, it's a solar revolving fund for, for community who, or for households uh, who want to, to put up uh, solar water heater at their houses, so there is a subsidy. I think you were also the first country in the region which had a solar obligation for the public buildings, so some public buildings were equipped with a solar water heater. Was this a successful approach? Um, yes, it is a successful approach, although you still find that uh, some um, we still need to provide training to, 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 to suppliers, for example, to really install these large systems. Um, um, and, but uh, many buildings you see in hospitals, in schools, they are already using um, um, solar water heat. They are already meeting their hot water preparation with solar uh, water heaters. Very good news. I wish you very good luck for your work. Thank you very much.